exteriores del penal donde han llegado este grupo de personas a agredir a la prensa. Señora, cálmese, señora, cálmese. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Jose Pedro Castillo Telones, born 19th October 1969, is a Peruvian former school teacher, farmer, union leader, and politician who was the 62nd president of Peru from 2021 to 2022. Castillo attempted to illegally dissolve Congress through a self coup on 7th December 2022 while citing Congress efforts to block his attempted policies, resulting in a legislative body impeaching and removing him from office the same day. Castillo was born to two illiterate peasants in the town of Pelner, Tachabamba, Chota province. Despite being the location of South America's largest gold mine, has remained one of the poorest regions in Peru. He is the third child of nine in his parents' family. During the internal conflict that began in the 1980s, Castillo worked in his youth as a patrolman of the Londa Campesina to defend against Shining Path. A former student of Castillo, Nivel Herrera, followed him into the Ronda Campesina. Ronda Campesina, saying that Castillo was always trying to help people. If we had to build a road, he was there. If we had to do some task or errand, he was there. And if we had to help a sick person who didn't have money, he was there. He completed his elementary and high school education at the Octavio Mata Contreras, the Cotovor Higher Institute, and earned a bachelor's degree in education and a master's degree in educational psychology from the Cesar Vallejo University. He became a well-known leading figure in the 2017 teacher strike in Peru. He ran for president of Peru in the 2021 general election with Free Peru and defeated Keiko Fujimori in the runoff election in June. Since taking office, Castillo has distanced himself from free Peru and became more moderate. He faced two impeachment proceedings in the Peruvian Congress, although both failed to reach the necessary votes to remove him from office. With the country's rising inflation and the disapproval of his presidency, massive protests against Castillo began in March 2022. His administration has not been able to find a solution to the political crisis and the economic issues the country had. Castillo ultimately left the Free Pelu Party in June 2022 to govern as an independent. In July 2022, a fifth investigation was launched into Castillo's possible corruption involvement. Peru's Congress approved on 1st December a motion to start impeachment proceedings against Castillo. On 7th December, it was reported that Castillo had declared a national curfew and attempted to dissolve Congress in order to stop the impeachment process. Shortly after his declaration, most of his cabinet resigned and he was impeached. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Pues ya saben cuál es mi opinión este, sobre este tema. Creo que fue una injusticia que se cometió, se violó eh, la democracia, 
porque el presidente Castillo fue electo por el pueblo de Perú y se le destituyó con eh, argucias o maniobras legaloides. Se le destituyó por consigna de los potentados del Perú y del extranjero. Y en eso, por ejemplo, no se dice nada. Él de ese, comenta el abogado que en, en otros no se habla sobre esta no se habla, relación de no se habla. Humanos. Ni el New York Times, ni el Washington Post, ni el Wall Street Journal, ni el Reforman, que ya ve ustedes lo plural que es.